Well, hello everyone. Well, hello everyone. Well, hello everyone. Hello everyone. Well, 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 hello everyone. Hey, hello there. If you saw someone who was dressed like this, you might think that they were really smart and well educated. Or perhaps, if we saw someone dressed in a suit, we might think that they were rich or powerful or important in some way. Or maybe, if you saw someone dressed like this, you would think they were really super. Welcome to the VUMC Newscast. Hello, kids. Hello, Adventure Cameron. Hello, this is Holly Johnson. We're going to meet the animals from the Christmas story. Hey, Elijah, is that you? Oh, Jake from Province Farm. Hello, I'm Mark from Hager Jewelry. How can I help you? Hello, I'm here to apply for the open sales position. So dig down deep. Give it all you got. You can do this. What do you say? Hey, what are you guys doing? And the reason something bad happens isn't because God doesn't love his people, but actually it's just the opposite. God gives us something so amazing. He gives us his love and his promise that he is always with us even when there's no one else around. God's power was shown in the sacrifice of his humble, poor son and servant. When we do things Jesus' way, not only is it better for the world, but guess what? We learn that it's what's best for us, too. Jesus loves us and has given us new eternal life in him so that we can spend forever with God, starting right now. That when God gives us second chances, we should learn from our mistakes in the past so that we can make better choices now. And to avoid that, we have to start with Jesus as our firm foundation. Everything else is built on him. Other times, God does something traumatic and surprising that we didn't think was possible right away. I think God was just being neighborly. God sent Jesus for everybody, so he wanted to make sure everybody knew they were welcome. Because it's not about going right or left or the color shirt that we're wearing, and it's certainly not about which leader you follow. In fact, Paul tells us that the job of the leader is simply to point us to Jesus. Wait, what did he say? Refocus, turn up the volume. There can be so much going on in our lives that it can be overwhelming. That's why it's so important that we listen for that still, small voice of God. So you have a children's sermon to pitch to me? Yes, ma'am, I do. And because this is our Easter children's sermon, we need to go all out for this one. Amazing, because Easter is a big deal in the church. It sure is. So, I was thinking we could do a three-hour feature-length movie with some super elaborate set pieces. And then we could also do some over-the-top special effects throughout. We could have car chases and explosions and a CGI Easter Bunny on an epic quest to recover some Easter eggs. We could hire a bunch of actors and get a massive production crew to put it all together, all in the course of a week and a half. Wow, 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 wow. Fantastic. Well, hello there. Thanks for picking me up. So sign the confession. Admit that you're guilty. What? Why should I? What's it for me? Shirts for sale? Shirts for sale. Get your shirts for sale. Get them while they're hot.
hope that helps you understand the sermon just a little bit better. Hopefully, that helps you understand the sermon just a little bit better. I hope that helps you all understand the sermon just a little bit better. So I hope that helps you understand our sermon and the fruit of the Spirit just a little bit better. So I hope that helps you understand the children's illustration for today. Goodbye, everyone. 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 So you guys want to know my secret identity? Uh, no, Bruce. Just get out of here. I, I'm not Bruce. I'm yeah, Ben. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know. You can just go.